And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yo, Dan, I gotta tell you right off the bat, I don't hope you choke. I don't hope you choke on anything. I'm glad I didn't know that that's what that song was telling people to do because I am a big fan of chewing until your bite is at a swallowable. Not a big fan of the old choking. No. Um, That'd be bonfire. great if, if some local Heimlich maneuver class opened with this. He's like, <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Chris, and I'm going to teach you guys the Heimlich. Welcome to an intense Heimlich maneuver class. I like when we've done a day we've done a lot of pre-record first because we come in like loose like it's already been happening the show. But yeah. for those listening at home, this is brand new. <laughs> this is 6 p.m. Eastern Time, the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big Jokerson. That's Daniel Soder. But I'm living all the way on Thursday, dude. Living after Thursday. Um, yeah, we came in and did our Lost Tapes. Which is going to be a very fun And I can't look at Jacob subject. the same anymore. You cannot look at Jacob the same. I'm Let's scared just say of him. Jacob <laughs> yeah. had sex on air. On air, we heard it. On air, he had full blown sex. No, he didn't. Um, Christine, uh, on our break, went down to get it. She's been held up at Starbucks. Uh, Black Lou slid into that chair. Super comfy. I mean, didn't I hope Christine's, I hope Christine's uh, cool with answering phone calls because I think Black Lou just found his, his station. And I'll tell you what, I don't know if Black Lou's looking to take uh, her place in life, but I do know he looks at me across from me and he just sees, you know, big and white with fat titties. Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't think... <laughs> you're like an oasis. You never know, right? Yeah, you're just like... I know he's newly married, but I could probably get him out of it. You're like a palm tree and a water puddle in the middle of the desert. <laughs> um, so many fun things to talk about today. You discussed with me um, off air. As we came, we were hanging out outside. It's actually a nice day out here today in New York, but you could see the stinks in the air, man. Fucking... What do you mean? The, Christmas is coming. Oh, yeah. There's people showing up. And it's up. about to suck dick in this part of town. Uh, you hear yeah. us bitch about it for two years in a row now, and this year will be no different, I promise Christmas you. in Midtown near Times Square, where the serious studios are. <laughs> Why are you, I like you're punching your own hand like you're trying to intimidate someone in the hey. 50s. Come on outside, you punk. Yeah. Hey, you knuckleheads want to come around to our block during the <laughs> Christmas season and the... Things are going to be different around here. Sam, play about because you wish me. Oh, these damn Western oh. Spaniards coming around. You disrespected my best gal, you see? I went to Chipotle, and there was just a fucking group of 15 Norwegian dead-eyed motherfuckers staring up the menu, clogging up the line. I was like, move! Like, this is American. This is angry American. I hate to do this to you and put you on the spot like this. Do it, motherfucker. Tell me, and if anyone in this room will agree with you, I'm behind it. I'll, I'll get behind it with you, but... Tell me something delicious and good from Chipotle. I've eaten there with you several times. It. I've been there by myself. I just fucking it's don't like art. think it's good. It's like, uh, I just I don't know. get it. It's considered healthy in my mind, in my dumb white trash mind. That's healthy eating because I have brown rice. It's not chicken. great. You can make it healthy for sure. I've eaten healthy there. Is that all right, Jacob? Brown I'm going rice with our and new. Chicken, you know? Yeah, and then yeah. with guacamole, no, cheese. <laughs> No. <laughs> but Jacob, you're talking about a, an extreme clean eating thing. Honest, I mean, guacamole and chicken bad, and, right? and brown rice is it, not bad at all. Black, guacamole is a healthy th product, but I mean, it's just fattening. All right, I don't care In about fat. Dog. I don't want sugar or carbs, dog. Not but I know good. the brown rice is bad. I don't know. Brown rice is good. Man, it's just close to work, and I can get it, and I'm right off the subway. And... I just think it. every time I go out of pure convenience, I fucking hate it. Really? I don't like it. I really don't, I don't know why I keep trying even, but I do. I really think it's, Black Lou, you love Chipotle, I can tell. You're making, you're making a sassy oh no he didn't face. Uh, what about? Like Mexican <laughs> McDonald's. It, it's, Mexican McDonald's, it's, it's owned by McDonald's. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah it it is. But it's not Mexican, McDonald's is, no. There's a, cons Black Lou has it delivered here. Do you really? <laughs> you, you fucking, uh, you, what's it called? The, um, Oh, shit runs downhill. He likes to see Mexicans run up an escalator for him. <laughs> Payback. What's the app where they uh, rich people use it to have like their fucking chargers delivered? 
Oh, where you can get anything you want delivered. Yeah, what's it called? I, I don't know. It's my like, play. Oh, it's like Uber or something. Isn't Postmates. It? Postmates. That's what it is. That Postmates is like fucking straight up. You want to see people? It's higher just, slavery, dude. It's crazy. There was a uh, when I dated the wealthy girl. She ordered food off Postmates, and an old guy I knew from that used to do open mics like twelve years ago was just doing it. He doesn't do comedy anymore. Can we do a Postmates order right now and see if it gets here before the end of the show? Of just some ridiculous shit. Yeah. Can yeah. we really? I we saw like, like, like one a of fucking shoelace friends- a birthday. Cake One of her rich cake. friends had a, a charger delivered. Her fucking Apple charger. What is it? It's just a it's just like a person. Anything? Yeah, and then they, you just tip them. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Jacob. Jacob it. shook that offer. I was like, yes, yeah, it's like a person delivers things. He's like, that sounds science fiction. Can we get like a small fries delivered from Burger yeah. King or something? I watched Chris Rock get like three rolls of sushi delivered to the cellar on Postmates from like a place that doesn't deliver. Really? Yeah. What a weirdo. Yeah. I feel like Chris Rock has like a bat phone to his favorite sushi place, though. Yeah, it could be. That's probably it. It's probably uh, a cool. This never happened in two and a half years of the show. I have the hiccups on the show. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> is a, this is like, and a I have a back pain, so every hiccup hurts. Also, so you're just in a living hell right now. Right now, I am experiencing what I believe is. A living hell. Is it odd that Fusel, the Fugel saying poster came up, right? Is, is it odd that it's, it's up and he's looking right at me? <laughs> yeah. He's like, his, hey. His eyes move wherever you go in the room. You go, I just really feel weird about that he's TV. Like, How's that Diet Coke taste? Yeah. Yeah, he goes, did you notice? Has, has, have you been watching your Diet Coke the entire time? Horrible. Wow. Christine came in fired Christine up. came in with some real single mom got off work late energy. <laughs> Everyone, I'm sorry. I know, I know that energy. I know how you just walked in this room. How you just walked in the room, Trish walked in our house for fucking 12 years. So I know fucking all about that. How about us do a little pro bono commercial right here for Buckaroos as we Guys, all quit. experience our- Guys, say it. Thank you, Christine. Thank, Thank you, Christine. You. Say it. I mean, I drink coffee like a man, so I guess I'm the dad of the family. I got a Everybody take a whack of this all at once. This is toffee almond milk hot cocoa. Do me a favor, Jacob. I know you took your glove off. You cannot shake it all over fucking Dan's face. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Yeah, hey, siving Private Ryan hands. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot, like... yeah. Hey, spaz wrists. Do me a favor. Don't, <laughs> don't burn uh, Dan's face off. Is it good? Let me have a sip. Jacob hates how, sh- how many calories and how much sugar is in it. Oh, Jacob, is this just like a candy bar or a liquid for you? I asked Jay you does know delicious. delicious. Almond milk. Oh, it's great. That's great. It's so good. A little pretzel taste to it. A little pretzel taste to it. Mm. Oh, Dan, uh, doesn't, wow. Dan doesn't want your germs, so he took the lid off. No, I actually did that for Jacob's sake, because I know he'd flip out if I... Oh, no. really? I would have done this. I would have done the thing where I tongue it first. Like, yeah. Oh, like it's a music video? Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh. Is Christine's computer off completely? Black Lou sabotaged you while you were gone, <laughs> yep. by the way. He's a real opportunist. He really moved in and did all kinds of wacky shit to you. Now they're fighting. I don't like any of this, guys. What happened to us? We were such a fun family. What should we order from Postmates? I want to do it. Is this what well, it yeah. is? It's up here. Yeah. That's Postmates? Hang oh, on. we have to get uh, Monkey Baby. Puppy Baby Monkey? Puppy, puppy Monkey Baby in here because our screen's broken. Or, or Duval. We could always get uh, yeah. uh, Duval. Doville. Doville. Damn, I fucked it up. Doville rule. Don't bother, motherfucker, when eating enchiladas. I really do think weed is starting to fuck with my memory now in my 30s. Like, shit, like, it's oh, starting to get real. It hits me where it gets me. I Doville, I was like, how could I forget Doville? That doesn't bother me so much because it doesn't come up a lot. But I'm talking about the immediate. I have a lot of the... Um, and what the hell was I just talking about two seconds <laughs> yeah. ago? I have a lot of that. Jumping into midair? Ah, oh, it's the worst. You, you, I hate do you that. not have that? Because you didn't smoke weed ever, right? In mid sentence, oh, I forget man. stuff. You do? Yeah. Oh, cool, then. We'll keep burning, buddy. Oh, so we're just all getting old and dying. It's yeah. not nothing to do with. <laughs> Might as well be high when you're doing oh, it. Cool. Shit, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Way to co sign us, Jacob. I'm going to jump right off that cliff. Christine's playing Doville today. Look at her working these. Uh, you got it working? Nice. Oh, uh, and you got the bonfire logo up. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle, y'all. Take that. And notice how your hiccups left? My hiccups Because Fugel Sang wasn't gone? Fugel Sang's gone. Hiccups gone. Christine. <laughs> Toffee almond milk in me. You are single mom in the shit out of this episode. Everyone's doing good. Now, if you could just get Postmates back up, we're going to make a weird order from Postmates. What can we order? Do you think we can order, like, one a, a chocolate Santa from a Dwayne Reed? Yeah, <laughs> like, but like so? that, I want a pair of Air Force Ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, Go to Flight Club, and does Comedy Central have a credit card that we just have access to? <laughs> yeah, I wish. 
<clears throat> can we talk them into that in 2018? Do you think there's anyone a dumb enough at Comedy Central to do that? To, to give, give us, us an expense account? Yeah, because no, you, you know, know what? Like, porn like, website. No, let's all let's make things. If, we're, if we can get here before we the show, let's get things to make sense. Have. Let's get me. Let's get me like a new pair of knuckle gloves. Yeah, let's we'll get, get Dan me... like a parka. Oh, I love parkas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how about um, how about open ankled sweatpants? <laughs> open ankled. Yeah, I don't you like don't... them bunched up. Oh, really? See, I'm an elastic. Guy. I like karate pants. You know. I don't like that at all. Um, Jake, what should we get, Jacob? An oven mitt? Maybe another, maybe a new wrist guard. That get, oh, that's, that's get, gonna get mucked up next summer. By next summer, all that sweat. How long do you have to wear it for? Let's get Dead Rat a fucking. Uh, let's get Dead Rat a three pack of porn magazines from a uh, from one of the delis. Yeah, like old smokers, chubbers, and Just, trash yeah, yeah, trash yeah. gals. Eighteen over eighteen BBW magazine, legal and horny. Yeah, all that shit. Gay one in the middle, just for fun. And there'll oh. probably be a tranny one in the middle. I've had that happen to me before. That's Although, unlike pack. my father, unlike my my biological father, I threw mine out. Where's your dad? Your dad kept it. I told this before on the show. My dad had some weird swingery and tranny ish pornography lying around his, uh, you know, where I found his porn. Are we getting to your root, Jay? No. And he absolutely, though, I think it was like those three pack things, but like, why hang on them? I mean, yeah, that is weird. I held on to it. I mean, I've told that story before when I got caught when I was in high school on the, when we went to football camp, my mm-hmm. high school football team, we bought it at a gas station and our coach caught us. It was like, <laughs> plumpers over 70 yeah it was all really gross ones and they're like soder garcia garcia <laughs> it was like, oh, fuck. <clears throat> yeah because i had a fake idea no you don't understand it's my abuela no jaime, my abuelita is in the pictures jaime and jason were much whiter than that <laughs> oh really sound it sorry so oh, what can we have it delivered what can we have delivered from post i mean hibachi uh no, let's not do food I think most of it's it's mostly for food, wow. but it, it's like it's like super seamless. It's like rich people seamless because they charge seamless you. is for rich people. By the way, the Postmates deliver, the delivery like for, charges on some of them aren't that. It's like four bucks. It not near. Like. Yeah, it is weird though because they're like when you when you want a place you're like oh they don't do delivery and then she'd be like let's just Postmate it and they're like I don't know what that means. She's what like the fuck are you talking? Someone about, brings us stuff. Really, Second Avenue Deli because that's what I want to order tonight now. <laughs> Are you just geeking yourself up for after the show? Yeah, man. We Fuck have groceries show. at home. No, Christine, get out of here with that single mom talk. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, I'm gonna cook so we save money. Fuck you. Yeah, guys. Mom lady. I prepare. Yeah, listen, lady, I like your hot cocoa and you making everything better. But back off when it comes to. Dinner. How about you just kiss my scrapes and let me figure out what we're ordering on Postmates, huh? Okay, thanks. Uh, is there is there not an option of things that aren't food? I just love 9 to 5 playing with Christine as a single mom and we're all the kids. I got to get five hot cocos to a studio full of boys who are terrified and don't know where I am. My boys. (laughs) I just put in to deliver to our address here and this is what came up. Yeah, but I wonder how they got like, I told you. My ex-girlfriend had a friend deliver a fucking charger. Yeah, that's what I want to find out. There's got to be a different website. But she also had a doorman building, and that's a whole set. Of, that's a whole different world that I don't know. Look I didn't know how to talk to them because I talked to door guys like the regular guys. But it's weird when you're leaving. Like she would leave and not talk to her doorman. I'm like, are you mad at him? And she's like, no, he's the door guy. I'm like, he's a person. <laughs> You know, I'm I just sorry. thought it was crazy. By I never way, knew I, how I, to interact with him. I get that. Like, I feel like, and I'm going to start. I'm going to make a, an actual effort for this. Yeah, I'm going to start saying hello to the whoever's behind the desk when we first walk in the building. I like here. that. I started doing that when I started coming in the closer door. I don't. Uh, I don't do it. I don't high and buy. And you should. You should more highs and buys. Maybe people will be less angry. But uh, yes, but you never that's know. We saying. could stop. We could stop some sort of a massacre. Yeah, because you go. You know what? That guy. Good dude. That's the kind of belief I put in myself. I could single-handedly stop a massacre. That's how much they want to talk. Wait, are there fingerless gloves? Can you please go back? Just no, hit it's back. Just in the picture. It's just the delivery guys wearing oh. fingerless gloves. But there's got to be one, a way. That, I mean, how do we? Urban Outfitters. We can See? You can, like, order from Urban Outfitters. Should we order socks? Can we order socks for everybody? Yeah, let's all get let's socks. Let's get socks. 
With Comedy Central's money. Hang on, there's a backpack, though. I think I want this back. You want a backpack? Can we get, all get backpacks? I already have my backpack with me because I live backpack life. All right, fuck that backpack. Hey, get dude. that backpack out of here. I need something like that, though. I need an accessory of some sort. Oh! oh fingerless gloves! We gotta order these with Comedy Central's money. <laughs> this is the only reason we have this job is to abuse their power. <laughs> oh, I kind of want that, but I'd look like a fucking oh, idiot I with really a messenger like, bag. I like that messenger I'll take a Herschel backpack, but not a messenger bag, because I'm going to look like a knob with a, me- with a messenger bag. Like, hey, what's up? Have My name's walk- Daniel. I work in programming. I do some coding. I just bought a two-bedroom apartment in Williamsburg. My well, girlfriend, about, Loafer. How about the Eternity uh, scarf? I, All the way on the left bottom. I don't fuck with scarves, dude. Scarves are for ladies. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Dan? What? I, what are you saying, Jacob? I'm you took you took, you took issue with that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 hold on, look, I, I get you? very cold. Jacob also just made a noise like he was witnessing a public killing. He goes, "Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> fuck that shit." What? Are you out of your goddamn mind? And by the way, that's where they got the iPhone charger from. You can see, look, there it is. So she bought an... That's how rich these chicks are? Jesus. Well, it's... No, it was for... It's $18. No, no, no. She bought... It was a a MacBook charger. Oh, that's much more intense. Yeah. They don't have have that there, I think she might... Did she do it from the Apple? I thought she got it from her office delivered to her house. It might also be where she was. Maybe there's, Mm. you know... Maybe that apple, like, down in I Soho know. delivery. All those people smelled really well, and they seemed nice. They all had great bone structure. Let's get a dry erase board, and we'll use it to, and we'll let Jacob use it to write break and all that kind of stuff on it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's order a couple things. But again, with Comedy Central's money, okay. dry erase Guys, boards. we don't have a Comedy Central credit card. And why is that? We've been on, we're almost three years old. Dan, three year old, did you, take one of those, did you take one of those seminars where if you keep saying it, it'll yes. happen? <laughs> Yes. He, goes, he goes, we're going to order it on coming to the credit card. Yes. On co- How are we going to make that happen right now? Just believe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me and you'll see uh, a world of Comedy Central's credit card. Viacom. Hey. Platinum. Is that MTV? Oh, look, it's VH1 over there. Fuck you. Give me your money so I can <laughs> buy gloves. I need a dry erase more in the worst way. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that would almost Santa at the end. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, I want that dry erase board. And mechanical pencils? Come on now. Yo, is this dude behind us in the studio that Devin Benner in look like Ted Cruz, like fat Ted Cruz? Look how cool, <laughs> look how cool his mechanical pencils are. <laughs> hey, fat Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I look back. I was like, fat Ted Cruz was working the board back then. I wish we could have gotten, like, I wish we could have ordered a nice sweater for Deb when she was here. Maybe we'll oh. do that. Maybe we'll wait till next Monday. Yeah. How do you think about that, Jacob? And we'll send Deb. We'll get, how fast do they deliver? We got to find that out. Yeah, because we might have to fire this thing off while we're doing some of the gloss tapes. Wait a second. Long arm warmer. Is that with finger holes? Yep. You're going to look like Brutus the Barber Beefcake. You got there where I'm going to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this will be great. Man, Postmates, rich people know how to live. Oh, what a great beanie. No, I hate, Can I have that? I hate, Women in that is fine. Dudes who wear shrug hats like that. Fuck you. What do you say? I can't walk around yes, looking like Colin I, Farrell? I don't want you doing that. Please don't do that. So what? I look like Colin Farrell. I don't Please give a don't, shit. You know me, man. I will let you look any way you want, but not that. No Come shrug. On. I don't want shrug hat Jay. What if I just want to fucking sack a little bit on the corner? You look like a sad poet. What I don't if I want, just want you to sack a bit. You look like the lead singer of Cannon Crows. Yeah. Long timber. And there's reason to believe that maybe Jay won't wear that hat anymore. I want a gloomy hat. No. <laughs> no. It's a gloomy hat. If you get a gloomy hat, I get a duster. Yeah, sure. Who's the, when am I going to tell you not to get a duster? I don't know. I just want a duster. Oh, so you're like, if, if we go with my crazy whims, yeah. we also have to go with your crazy whims. Yeah, dude. I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, duster. Yeah. They don't have that here, though. Black duster. I don't think they have that. But they definitely have an asshole beanie. Yeah, they. I just saw the asshole beanie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Don't wear an asshole beanie, Oh, dude. my God. Me and, you're right. Me and Counting Crows. Adam Duritz. You and Adam Duritz. Are you a big Crows fan, I feel like? I don't. I think we discussed this. I don't like the live because he stretches out every fucking He note. does fucking make it awful. Yeah. But, uh. Is he half black? No. No? Not even on his face's side? He wants to be. <laughs> 
Wait, he's, Wait, pure, he's not black? He's not. He, 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 you're telling me that guy's 100% white? I'd like to make a wager. Uh, I'll bet you 10 bucks he's not full white. Oh, no, I'm on your I side. Don't, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I say he's not black. You think uh, it's half what, though? Do you think he's... Something weird. <laughs> something black. I mean, he's got that weird, like... He's got that weird, his skin's so white because he's half black look. I bet you he's Jewish. Oh! Look at him. Look at him. Adam, Der- Adam Derowitz. It's a mix of something. Derowitz. Well, he, he is Jewish. Yeah, he is Jewish. Okay. Now you say Jewish, and he does look like a, a, like an eccentric professor in that picture. Oh, you know what? At the Bonfire SXM, tweet that. Look way, at him. You're he right. looks All like the a, black has gone away now that you said Jewish. He is full. I mean, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this Hello, everybody. I am I, part of the Counting Crows. Uh, counting has always been part of my family. <laughs> Uh, we like to count numbers. Hi, we crunch numbers, and we are mostly accountants. Is so. it me, or was that a long December? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, am... my God. Between the fishnicket heartbreak and the fishnicket... Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones and me. We were out around here. No one wants to work. No one stays up late. <laughs> Why would we stay up late? We have dinner at 4 p.m. Everybody's asleep by 7 30. <laughs> I'm Adam Dovitz. Round Hello. here. I'm Adam Dovitz. <laughs> She says she's thinking of jumping. I says jump. What did you make me? Hi. I, I, I've got a small time on this earth. I've already lived my life. You want to jump so bad you jump? I am colorblind. I, <laughs> the black is white. Oh, dude. Oish, forget it. My dick hasn't gotten hard since... Oish. I was 52 years Oish. old, perhaps. I was with what? With the Courtney Cox and the Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, if he stopped. So what? I was a rock star. <laughs> Adam Duritz actually looks like an Eric Griffin character or something. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a character comedian Eric Griffin, Gr- Griffin yes. is playing? Same nose. Dude, that, that exact picture. You have to send out that picture because that spit take was legitimately <laughs> real. Because that looks like Eric Griffin. I literally was in the process of looking up uh, Eric from I'm Dying Up Here to pull up a picture. Of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking hilarious. What a long December, huh? Eh? Uh, the smell of hospital rooms in winter. It's like, you know. It feel like it's like a bite to ice Oish. thing. Oh, you can feel the stink of death in here at this time of year. It's crazy. I'm telling you, these people... They are all oysters, no pearls. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can tell me it's the same guy. <laughs> that's, there's no way that's not the same guy. I mean, that's definitely the same human being. <laughs> this is a long play. Oish, yes, they put me in this show. <laughs> it is on the Showtime uh, cable network. Uncensored, they tell me. There's some uh, there's some breasts. Dude, I love that we know Adam Duritz is Jewish now. There's some breasts. I hear even every couple episodes Whoa. they show a man schmeckle. Black Lou's got something. From the, my apologies. Breaking news: Jimmy Garoppolo named starting quarterback. Yeah, just now. Jimmy G. San Francisco 49ers about to beat the Chicago Bears. I know there are some Bears fans listening. Let me tell you, this Sunday at 1 p.m. Standard Time, I believe it's Eastern. You are going to run into one handsome quarterback named Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> I yeah. don't mean to give you the Dennis Farina curse on this, but it looks like the 49ers are headed to be the best 2 and 10 team in the NFL. Um, wait a second. More breaking news. What? Barrett in Texas says that his dreadlocks were fake. He had fake hair. It was a weave. No. Is that possibly true? He had Barrett, hor- is, where do you hear this information? Uh, so I remember reading an article. It was either Rolling Stone or Spin Magazine in the late 90s, early 2000s. And they were asking him about, like, his signature look or whatever. And he fessed up to the fact that he has really thin hair. And all of his fucking dreadlocks are weaved. No. that Christine, look that up. Because this is as heartbreaking as finding out that Andre Agassi wore a toupee. Oh, yeah. Or John Holmes wore a fake dick. I I feel like this is worse than a toupee, though. Like, if you're getting fake dreadlocks... Yeah, it it is worse than a toupee. Yeah, if Adam Durowitz is going full love and hip-hop, where he's just getting weave put in... His first hair was just like, you know, you get that hat, and they'll see you're wearing a headband, and you have crazy dreadlocks. Like the the Finn Balor thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, The Finn Balor. Yeah, I I know which one you're talking about. Where he comes out as the demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he comes out and fucking... He wears a cruise liner hat. (laughs) He's got... 
that's the, something you buy at a fucking Senior Frogs? Like the old Slipknot mask? It's yeah. It's fake dreadlocks in it? Dude, I love... Please find out if that's true. Uh, thanks for the call, Bat. We're going to look that up right now. We're going to fact check that. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle, crackle dude. Motherfucker. Uh, yeah! In fact, let's take our first break, Fun. and we'll fact check that. Well, that first half hour went silly quick. Well, we found out Adam Drewitz was a Jewish person. Hey, buddy, he's my band, the Counting Crows. You can yeah. cut them if you want to. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I can tell How long are we all going to be here? I don't know. We only get one go around on this little marble, I'm... and I'm trying to have as much fun as I can. You know I used to fuck Courtney Cox, I did. <laughs> You've got to know how I count my check. Counting crows, I'll tell you, it's six. Because I get the, a sixth of every fucking dollar we make. Because there's too many crows. <laughs> so many crows. I said, why are we paying the, the piano guy? It must be playing the singer. I'm the guy waiting there. I have to go to bed at night. I have to keep my voice good. And this guy just got there and whack around. He's doing the drugs. He's talking to the women. A boop, beep, bop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take our first break, everybody. You're listening to The Bonfire. You know, Dan, when Black Lou sits here singing the songs of the song over my shoulder, yeah. it does add a level of that I feel like the song is about uh, interracial it? love. <laughs> I never thought that before. I but never thought it was, I didn't know it was a racial harmony song either. But he says something. He was, what do you say? Something about cream and coffee? <laughs> something like a line you say to a white woman? He goes, how about a little coffee for that cream? Splat out. <laughs> Wait, bring up the lyrics of the song. Black Lou, can you do it as cat calling lines? Speed him up. Yo, baby girl. Hey, no one has to come in. <laughs> yeah, do that second line. Hey, yo, pull me out from inside, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pull me I'm out from inside. Yo, I'm a taffy stuck in a tongue tie. I'm ready. I'm ready. And Stutter shook up tight sounds like a fucking Deke movie does in the line. Oh, oh he's going to stutter shook it up tight. Oh, Coffee man. black and egg white. Isn't that what you guys put on your on your uh, marriage announcement? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, miss. <laughs> he goes, Mrs. Egg white. Be there for the union and celebrate with us as a union between coffee black and egg white. <laughs> I just Wait. want my baby. We're talking about <laughs> I want my baby, man. Adam Duritz. Did we confirm he's Jewish? Yeah, he's His Jewish. name is Duritz. Yeah. There's not a lot of itzes that aren't Jewish. Yeah. Well, that'd be a great thing to start calling Jews, though. It's oh, those fucking itzes. <laughs> uh, you know, you got to deal with the itzes, but you know. oh, look, Brooklyn's a nice place. You're gonna deal with a bunch of itzes walking around their crazy wool jackets all summer. <laughs> he goes, yeah, you know, you get an elevator in Williamsburg, you know, you get a couple itzes in there. It's gonna smell like a fucking sauna. It's fine. Look, I mean, you know, the itzes start to smell if it gets hot in the summer. But you know, try to see a nighttime movie. They go to bed early. Um. <laughs> Um, On the inside, uh, egg white and black chocolate coffee. I'm hungry. He's just talking about what he's going to eat after they're done recording the song. (laughs) Maybe a movie. Hey, Duritz, are your dreadlocks real? He goes, oh, yes, they're very real. Real expensive. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, I nailed it for you like a stripper, like a whore line. (laughs) We were talking about Courtney Cox laying in bed with Adam Duritz, like playing with his hair. And she's like, I love your hair. He's like... Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> she had Corny Cox has zero respect for her gash. I mean, she has let that thing be a farming ground for the world's biggest <laughs> doofuses. What? Uh, fucking Ar- David Arquette. Oh yeah, Adam Duritz. Yeah, like Hollywood's doof crew. <laughs> I mean, like, what are you doing? She was hot uh, as shit back in her she day. She was so hot. She Ace- almost got the boss when she looked like a goddamn boy. Ace Ventura, Courtney Cox is my my favorite. Oh, she's so. I mean, Ace Ventura, Courtney Cox. Family ties, Courtney Cox. Yeah. Um, And then you're right. She really just did bang a bunch of fucking C pluses. Oh, my God. David Arquette. (laughs) I'd rather fuck the Lexus Arquette, whatever that thing was. But you didn't know that she that he. I know Alexis Arquette died a tranny with a massive dong. Um, what a big old meat that that fucking. Uh, well, it's gone. That it's, kid had. Now yeah. it's now it's fucking worm food. What was I going to say? Oh, that's a lot of food, though. Oh, those <laughs> worms are going to be huge and so gay. Um, <laughs> also, he banged. You didn't know that he banged uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I mean, not Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> 
dude. <laughs> Your face just got so serious. I'm sunk. sorry. I'm sorry. I just sunk. That's a good one. You know what it is? It means he, it means he has a type. This fucking Jew bastard is scoring up all the Hollywood like sweet broads, like the girls next door. No, he fucked. Not he, these club whores. He keeps getting all the girls you want to make your girlfriend and making him his goddamn girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, Who's next? Who did he also? David Schwimmer. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Aniston. He, but they is that true, Christine? Back to back. Uh, it says back to back. I'm trying to figure out exactly how back to back they were. No, he put the girls back to back, and he would just pick a side each night. I'm going on Aniston's side tonight. Plattow, splodoosh, bagoon. So did wow. she go from? Oi, ish, oi, ish, oi, roll Courtney, Jennifer, Courtney, Jennifer, <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Oi, ish, oi, no, no, right, oi, ish, broth. <laughs> <laughs> did he date Winona Ryder? Yeah, he dated, uh, in 95, he dated Aniston. In 97, he dated Courtney Cox. So he went Aniston Cox. He also dated Christina Applegate. Come what? on! Yep. Kelly Bundy? Kelly Bundy. Um, Mary Louise Clark. Samantha Mathis? Um, I would ever with that. Who's that? I don't that's, know. Uh, Trishelle? Oh, world. it's hilarious. Dude, can I tell you? Yeah, the real world. But she was the slut on the real world, Can right? I tell you the funniest part about that? My friend Tannenbaum... Used to call my mom Trishelle when that show came out as a way to call my mom a slut. Really? Yeah. He go where's he go where's Trishelle down at America's Bar and Grill on Wing Night? Goes, right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Tambo. You know, Jacob looked away from the screen and saw one that's going to destroy him. What? Go to number one. Emmy Rossum. Oh, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just genuinely went no. Fuck. Jacob, have a she microphone near you for these moments. Uh, Emmy Rossum, dude, that kills you. I know. Is you that like your, her in two thousand nine? Oh, oh, she He's was so twenty one years older than her. Oh man, their love making the age, must be that's beautiful. That's the age, Jacob, when like their bush looks like the parts that are there are. It looks like their bush grows that way because when they remove the hairs, it's still so smooth, dude. It's not like a forty five year old lady where there's always some fucking just, just scraggle behind the bush shaving. I think we got. Yeah, I mean. Pussle theory, you, I don't have my doctorate in it like you do. Well, I'm sorry, right. guys. You picked the wrong day to come. I'm wearing my uh, elbow patches blazer yeah. today. But I'm saying you got to put him up with all the girls that he's fucked. He's like almost Jeter level. Well, Trishel, whatever. Mary Louise Parker, whatever. Mary Louise, Mary Louise Parker, that's a fucking status, good score. Listen, status is a good score. Courtney but, uh, Cox, I'm not Jennifer Jack. Aniston. That's I mean, huge. He, Adam Durowitz, did work. Winona Ryder? Winona Ryder was like an elf boy to Shut me. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, he She's was like, lovely. Mr. Jones was like the most popular song ever. Go to number ever. 10. Who's 10? Yeah, Monica but, Potter? But yeah, you know oh, Monica Potter! I fucking love that shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Again, by so the way, you know, what's so crazy? you know what's so crazy? I didn't know he did. Now, Monica Potter was in, a, she was in Patch Adams. Yeah, uh, I, I, that's where I know her from. Wasn't uh, she also in uh, Con, Con Air? Air? Yeah. yeah, the wife in Con Air. Uh, Mrs. Potter's Lullaby is that for, about her? And she was in. Uh, she was in probably. Oh, oh, is that his song that he sang after he fucked her? Because that's going to make me furious. <laughs> she is an angel on earth. Well, let me tell you about her. I'm, it's funny. I, I swear <laughs> to you, I mentioned this comment when I said this comment uh, was it on air or off air when I said he's dated every girl. You nailed was, it. Like the girl you want to be your girlfriend. Hey, turn them into- I swear to you, in the movie Patch Adams, like her character, spoiler alert, dies <gasps> at one point, kind of in a sad way. She's uh-huh. doing a good thing and uh-huh. she gets killed. I, now I got a choke jerk. But I said, I miss it, her. It, it bummed me out so much in that movie that I didn't even like that movie that much. But that <sighs> scene bummed me out because I'm like, she's just so girlfriend pretty. Oh, she's wife pretty, dude. That's yeah. like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Though? It's not like a slutty, like, uh, like you uh, know, like, like, like crazy sexy pretty. She's like, the, like a classically beautiful I love chick. That. That's, that's And he fucked her too. Oh, just then just threw her away. You know what's funny? It just shows the same scene. Like, he's making her, she's like puking all over his balls Jesus. from like chugging cock. And he's like, oh, yeah, dude, total wife material. Yeah. He <laughs> yeah. To make you guys, he's riddled uh-huh. with mental illness. And hasn't been able to sustain a relationship ever. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're taking something cool and making it all real? Ugh. Yes, and Superman physically can't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christine. The invisible man wouldn't be invisible with all the dust surrounding us. Yes. We have. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Some girl comic told you that a long time ago. You didn't come up with that. I didn't say I came up with it. Man, Christine's in a weird on-air battle with me that I do not understand. God damn it, that's the perfect thing to say. 
<laughs> what a way, weird. It was the way that it was the tone that Jay said it was. His yeah, it wasn't the information. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, and the invisible man wouldn't be invisible. <laughs> Me and Christine need couples therapy. Oh, Christine needs couples therapy. That really fucking cracked me open, dude. Uh, yeah, I've been begging you to go to therapy Are with we, me. Oh, guys, <laughs> Christine needs couples therapy. You it's guys want to do it? Can we do it? Uh, can we get status Send Christine updates? a couples therapy? No, you guys both got to go. Can we go? I mean, not can we go. I don't want to go. We'll send Jacob. Uh, me and take... Jay are both in dire need of therapy. It would probably be good for both oh, of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that anger come. I said something to you the other day, actually, uh, off air when we were at home. I was like, what is like... I go, it's weird. I go, I know after a while there was a, a joke involved in like mm-hmm. not finding the stuff I was saying or not bringing the stuff or, or timing the things right. I was like, but you're, it's like, it's like you're sabotaging shit I'm saying a lot. She's like, oh, I didn't realize it. <laughs> um, I just, I and just, she's like, another comic said that years ago. Like, yeah, I didn't, what? <laughs> I uh, just assumed that you guys had like a fiery, like Latin relationship where you're just like, oh, yeah, hi. And then, like the thing, you know, when you're like, Softly nibbling the air in front of each other. We go, maybe I was. Oh, yeah. Bam. No. Then, no. 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 It's just pure psychological damage? I guess so, yeah. Listen, let's get this flooded house to a therapist and work on it. Because if there's anything sexier than working through your problems, Christine, you go to couple, so. Christine, you go to couples therapy every week. And Laura Flynn, back to you. <laughs> and let me Dude, Laura Flynn Boyle? It's over 10? Laura Flynn Boyle is whatever. <laughs> I think you're blown away that he's fucked over 10 women. <laughs> no, I mean, he, the, the 10 that he's just put up. That's why well, I'm Laura saying. Laura Flynn Boyle, that, that, that doesn't do anything for me. But status-wise, dude. Yeah. I'm saying he's, he's in. I'm not saying he's over uh, Derek Jeter. I'm saying he's in the same... He's not one of those celebrities that's celebrated like that. You know what I mean? Like these bachelors, like uh, George Clooney or Derek Jeter. He's in that league. Yeah. Oh, the guy's definitely a coxman for sure. I mean, for having sewn in dreadlocks, as we're being told. But Christine, Where's you the idea at- about that? You looked up the dreadlocks thing? I want to see that. Yeah, the one that I found says that it was a wig given to him by his dad, Weird. and then there's other things saying that it's <laughs> what, extensions. He goes, son, here is my father's African dreadlock wig. We used to dress up in blackface and make fun of the Schwarzes down the street. Adam Gabriel, <laughs> come up here. Your father wants to talk to you. Open up that trunk. Adam, young Adam, listen. Open that trunk up. Do you see that dreadlocks wig that was given to me? By my father, and I will give it down to my son. <laughs> this is the dreadlocks of the family Durrets. You take it and write crazy music. Put it on your head. Write songs about sad things, and your <laughs> schwanz will grow three inches. <laughs> oh. You'll have every woman in Hollywood pining to bang you. You're gonna be so popular, you're gonna have to take a vacation to give your schmeckle a break. <laughs> it's, it's Jewish voodoo. <laughs> Put on this, these fake dreadlocks, and every woman will wanna be with you. <laughs> Any woman who crosses your path will come and want to have sex with the hat. But it is just the hat. Do not get confident and cocky believing it is you. It is not you. The Dorothys are a homely man. <laughs> yeah. um, but Christine, you look at it like he's just mentally ill and he can't re- sustain a relationship. Is that, no, how, you look, no, is that no. how you look at Leo? No, of course not. He got to bang like uh, so many hot chicks. I'm saying it's like Leonardo. Everyone says the same names. Leo and fucking George Clooney and Derek Jeter. But Adam Durowitz is in that league. Yeah, very weird. No one gives him credit. I mean, wow, but I mean, Jeter's Derek, list is unbelievable. Jeter's is just you. Good luck. His wife is gorgeous. Keep go, going down uh, at the bonfire SXM. If you want to see these, uh, Minka Kelly, my, well, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. Friday Night Lights. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram, and you're just like you're an angel on. You're just an angel on earth. Uh, and then Jessica Beal, God bless Justin's wife. Yeah, Justin Timberlake's wife. Who takes the approach from the women's side? How about we talk about all the great dick Jessica Biel's gotten? True. We start fucking sucking off Derek Jeter. You know what? You're right. Let's take a feminist spin on this. Jessica Alba's got some good dick. Her husband, yeah, Cash you know what? Warren. He really did. That one was kind of whatever, but the rest are all pretty fucking fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, he had a good. But most of. Whoa, what was that last one? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Who's that fucking Portuguese house mom? <laughs> Laura Dutta? Her name's awful. Yeah, I went to high school with her, dude. What is that? Yeah, really. Mariah Carey. She works in the school library. Mariah Carey's so beat up now. Rachel, you could tell. Is that like chick? That's the like Long Island club slut. <laughs> That's like her job. It's weird they they don't put Madonna on the list. 
He written those. Uh, oh, that was A Rod. Yeah, A Rod and Madonna came into Dos Caminos when I was waiting, and I gave A Rod a thumbs up, and I felt like the biggest idiot in the fucking <laughs> world because I'm not a Yankees fan. And then you called you, you called uh he went you, like g- the, you gave him a thumbs up, and you called her a race traitor. I went right. I went. Why'd you do that? Madonna? Yeah. But he walked in Have and Have fun just, sucking that spick dick. Uh, A-Rod, can I get you something? Uh, no, they walk- <laughs> He's loving those. A-Rod, big fan. Can you sign this for me? Hey, have fun getting that little beaner fucking cock in your butt, you slut. Hey, hey oh, A-Rod. Oh, see, look at this. Ranker has Jessica Beals hookups. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, race Gerard the- Butler? Really? All right. Jessica Beal doing the Lord's work. Derek Jeter? She's hot, Jessica Beal. <clears throat> Chris Evans? Young Chris Evans. Oh, look at, look at I mean, her. when she was young, man. Oh, oh my God. My God, I will fall. Oh, Chris Evans, he's in this league now. I oddly get a bunch of direct messages that are meant for him. <laughs> really? Yeah, just by accident. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Can you read some of them? I'll find them. I have to go through, babe. Please like, go about. through your direct messages. She, like, she goes, oh, she goes, oh, this is from my uncle. <laughs> hey, love, love you as uh, Ca- Captain America. Oh, she goes, God damn it. She goes, oh, I thought that was, that was my chat roulette name. I thought it was your, Captain America. I, I thought your turn as uh, Johnny <sighs> Blaze in Fantastic Four was better than people gave it credit for. Dude. Good job, Jessica Biel, just being one she of the hottest girls. She has insane cans on a really, really slight frame. Just, oh. That picture of her and Chris Evans. Go back to her and Chris. Jesus, she's hot. Yeah, yeah Christine, we should go to therapy. Mm-hmm. Physical therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Did you want confirmation if he's actually bald, if he admits it? Wait, you think he's bald? Well, someone said Adam that Durst. picture. Adam someone Durst. said he admits it. Yeah. Adam Do you have it? I'm on baldouting.com, and they're, <laughs> and they're quoting him saying, I'm, "By the way, Jacob only typed in B A L, and it filled in the rest. He's on this a lot. That's his homepage. He goes, let me check into my profile, see if I got any messages from the boards.' <laughs> he goes, I love blowing. Jacob, people. keep your head up. Signed, Jeremy Piven. Yeah, you little bald-headed beauty. <laughs> uh, it's another Friday comb over and thumbs up." <laughs> Daddy Warbucks was bald and he was kicking ass. Yeah. Ah, look at Stone Cold just clearing the rain. It's <laughs> a <laughs> support. But they're outing him? Yes. They say that he's bald. Well, I mean, they're quoting him. What is he saying? It was a fig. Well, he's actually wrote a line in a Counting Crow song. I'm a, Ru- I'm a Russian, Jewish, American impersonating African. Who? And then he goes on to say, I think in an, in an interview... Whatever they hide or cover up about myself, you know, they feel good. And I did not want to be a skinhead guy. What? So he's saying, I'm still, he's still wearing the the hairpiece, even though. It's because he doesn't want to be a skinhead. Yeah. Those are your choices in the world, Dan. (laughs) You can either wear dreadlock wigs or be a racist skinhead. You don't get that? White nationalists or Jewish African. I mean,. Well, do we? Have, do you have something you can put up on this screen, Christine? That's him. In his older about? age, rocking that wig, he just looks like he owns a head shop. He doesn't. Yeah, Rick in North Carolina says we got to give Adam more credit. He banged friends that worked together. We've given him all that. Yeah, I know. This guy's laid it down. No, we're Rick, giving him plenty of credit. Rick, we're saying we're putting him. He's not included in the league of Leo Clooney, Jeter, Chris Evans. We're putting him in that league. You know, I agree. I just think, in my mind, you could throw all the other ones out. He banged a friend's shit. Now, remember, back then, friends was the shit, right? I mean, they're, yeah, you're right. They, highest paid girls in te- highest paid girls in te- highest paid cast in television ever. Yeah, so I think, you know what, you have a good point there, Rick, if you say that he was fucking, uh, he fucked, he fucked two co-workers who were making a million an episode. It's so and what great. He did, keep in mind, he fucked one and then convinced the other one. They work together. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's they great. They see each other every day. They're best friends. He's like, oh, hey, Court, do me a favor. Hey, Court, can you spring for pizza tonight? I'm a little light on cash. Yeah. And she goes, you're light on cash? He goes, I mean, Jennifer didn't used to bitch about it. He goes, but she's with Brad now. Whatever. Hey, what's Lisa Kudrow up to? <laughs> he goes, I think I want the set. What's Matt LeBlanc doing? Hey, I'm trying to hit for the cycle. What's Kudrow up to? Hey, babe, you think you have enough money to get Matt LeBlanc over here to jack off in front of us? (laughs) I just want to do some weird stuff. Push him on a put him on a leash or something. (laughs) Uh, yeah, no, that's a good point, Rick. Yeah, I once I once went out on a date with a girl. Tried to convince her two years to go out. She finally agrees and says, "I want to bring my friend." She brings her friend. Her friend's way hotter. There you go. 
I wound up circling back and banging the friend, but tried to go back to the original date girl. Didn't happen. That's why I guess yeah. I got to give him All that. right, so we got it now. It's Adam Duritz, Brad Pitt, Leo, Rick. <laughs> Rick from North Carolina. <laughs> exactly. But we I, got it. We got it all. We, we got the list compiled now. I'm the next tier. I didn't bang the second one, so I'm, I'm the next tier. Oh. I am proud for banging the wing girl. That took some manipulating to bang the girl who came along. No, that's right. pretty good. You slide, yeah, the double and back and making that work out. I mean, it's real creep status, though, on a certain level. No, you nailed like, it. Hey, that girl, listen, the hey. friend was the piece of shit, really. Yeah, the friend was, because the friend showed, you know, brought a friend, yeah. Um, Rick, let's, uh, thanks for the call, my friend. Always good to talk to our North Kakalaka fans. Um, let's take a break. Fine. Go pay some bills. Fine. And then we'll come right back. We have a guest coming in, I believe, and we have some real fun shit I want to show you. Okay. That you're going to enjoy. Uh, that's Dan Soder. I'm Big Jokerson. This is The Bonfire. Eskimo Kisses. And now, back to The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. We're back, everybody. It's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder. Hi. Uh, we actually, we said we had one guest coming in at the break. We had two guests end up coming in. Uh, first, we have uh, here to promote his new album, the first one available right now on iTunes, hilarious comedian from my hometown of Philadelphia, Mr. Dave Temple is here. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. What's up, man? How you guys doing? Uh, doing very, very good. And also joining us now, uh, very exciting. He worked with me on the show Z-Rock. And uh, he's got a new album called Angels and One-Armed Jugglers. It's a solo album. You know him as the lead singer of the Spin Doctors, everybody, Chris Barron. Chris Barron yeah. joins us. Oh, hey, hi, everybody. <laughs> Can you believe that's a speaking voice? <laughs> I didn't know you had a Mickey Mouse speaking voice either. It's throwing me off, but I've adjusted to it in the commercial break. We come in the building so fired out of a can of sometimes when we saw you in the lobby. I had a million ideas for it. I go, oh, can we have a contest to see who can do... Man, that's the one to beat, though. Yeah, no, that is. I set the bar high. <laughs> he comes you in. Did, a, he's an air drummer, and he knows how to scat pretty well oh, to the man. point that it blows also, me away. Also, line for line, nailed every uh, word of three Barbra Streisand songs yesterday. Yeah. Jay so. goes deep. Damn. Is there any way to suck at scatting, though? Yeah. Oh, oh, buddy. There's some bad scatting out there. <laughs> oh, man. Christine's already on it, I guarantee There's you. There's way more bad scatting. Bad scatting? Yeah. I mean, oh. almost all scatting is bad, pretty yeah. much. I think it should be illegal or something. I Except think when it's, so, when it's good, it, Crothers. Well, yeah, when it's good, it's great. It's, no, so, that's wrong. Is scat like mumble rap? I don't know. You close. It's white mumble rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. it wasn't always white. Mel Torme did it, the white version of it. We all knew Mel Torme from Night Court. Yeah. And, uh... And, but then the Scatman Crothers, that was his big thing. Yeah. They had that song Scatman come out in the 90s. This is the lamest scat solo. Perfect. And it's, it, what is it a church choir? <laughs> that just sounds... <laughs> Doesn't that just sound like music that... Uh, that uh, Claire and Cliff Huxtable used to almost <laughs> fuck to on a couch yeah. at the end of every episode. Yeah. Shoo ba da ba He's like, remember this? This is a. Uh, it's always some weird person. It also the, sounds like. Yeah. Live at the Acropolis. Yeah, a drunk guy at a wedding just grabbed a mic and was like, do ba do ba da ba I wasn't invited. Vanessa's in bed and Theo's in bed. A lot of them coming for a little. Boo ba do boo ba ba shabbles a bam. Black churches is where all musicians go to, like, you know, when they fail. And they just want to still is that what keep it is? that oh. dream alive, man. Yeah. That's like the boat comics. Oh yeah, of, of music. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like they're always taking like secular music and like trying to remix it and give yeah. it a gospel theme. Christian, like, Christian rock's the same way when like a metal group can't yeah. do it, then they just start praising Jesus. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, black crowds. That's your judge always. Chris, have you done a show where you felt a crowd was predominantly black? winning over a black crowd as a comic was one of the most amazing feelings? <laughs> so you're just like, <laughs> oh man, especially if you do it yourself and it's not like a pandering thing. Yeah, mm. and you just win the crowd over. You're like. Wow, this is crazy. They like my goofy thing I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like winning over a crowd. Have you won over a crowd that did not seem like it was going to be your crowd ever? I mean... It's got to be young years, obviously. When when I was first first, first starting out at a buddy, I moved down to, to, to Richmond. I actually ran away from home and was staying on the floor with these, like, in this flea-bitten apartment with this guy. And I was talking about how I was going to be a big rock star. And he was like, dude, fuck you. 
You don't have a gig. You've never, you know, you go get a gig and then yeah. you can talk to me about what a what like a, a rock star you're going to be. So I took his bike, I stole his bike, and I just rode around <laughs> Richmond like trying to get a gig and I walked into this like soul restaurant and it was like all black people. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Hey, um I got a guitar. Can I just like sing in your in your bar?" And they were like, "Nobody gets out of here." They were like, <laughs> <laughs> "They were like, well, we don't have you know we don't have any live enter- entertainment." They were so nice to me. I was like, I-, "I can do some blues." And they were like, "Well, you just give us your number and we'll uh, yeah. and we'll call you if we need a, a a little white boy to come in here and sing some blues for us." But uh, yeah, I mean, that's great. They're like, "Yeah, just put your number down." Yeah, we'll just call you. Yeah, we'll call <laughs> you. I thought the story was gonna go. It goes, and the next week they call me. And it goes. Guess what, motherfucker? We need a white boy. He goes, Tell me. He he goes I'm going to ask you this once, and you better tell me the honest God truth. You know Muddy Waters? Get your ass down here. He goes, I know you probably thought we was never going to call, but some crazy shit just went down, and we need a little white boy to come play music. Hey, you the white boy with the guitar? Get your ass down here. It's like that enthusiastic yeah. kid that always hangs out in front of the bar and like Your runs to his yeah. door. Jason, they need you. Were you practicing? Yeah, we got to go now. There was an accident. Oh, you get, and you have one of those moments where you start playing like a song they don't like, some kind of like Elvis something, yeah. or they're, they're like, Love Boo. me tender. Yeah. Love me true. They're like, Boo. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. And you're like, Happy birthday to you. You're like, yeah. Wow. Why are they always so easily won over in movies? You know what I mean? Like, oh, they only had to go like a bar of, Oh, we recognize that shit. But that's everything. That's every, any kind of movie. It's just one or two wins, and then they're all of a sudden on like, Yeah. Right, it's not right, the slow right. roll. That's real. That's human nature. Nature, man. Do you remember uh, that was one of the best scenes in Borat when he did? Was that when he went to like the rodeo or whatever? And he's like, "Yeah, it's the best country in the world." But he started just shitting on stuff, and it's like they're so like behind it because he's just saying things they know at first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They all get on his team. And as soon as he throws those monkey wrenches in there, they're like, "Wait, hey, I don't hang what? on a second. Why are we just cheering for this guy?" Yeah, <laughs> with this clear goofy accent. Yeah, because but- remember they forgave Pee Wee for knocking over all of those fucking Harleys quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he just did a little goofy bar. dance on a bar. As an as an alcoholic and a former drinker, I'd be furious if someone was dancing in front of me trying to order a drink. By the way, as an adult, you realize that scene. The whole joke there was that they all want they all wanted to fuck him. Like really? the whole movie, it's always. Oh, dude, I haven't to watched it in so long that I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, oh, that's man. one of those. If I watch that now, everybody's with wants to fuck him. Check that out. Mickey, yeah, you're Mickey, watch Mickey the felon. Mickey sounds... the felon kicks him out of the car because he's like he almost crashes because he's staring at his legs. <laughs> so he thinks. Th- so everyone just thinks he's a twink that's just trying to. <laughs> that's it. So there's dark undertones to Pee Wee's Big Adventure. There's dark oh, in everything. Very he's, very yeah. dark. He's like a heroin addict. He's like, I guess I'm a lot. Well, Pee Wee's. Pee Wee Herman was initially like an adult comedy thing. Yeah, yeah. Initially, it was like, it was like, like Saturday very, Night Alaska. Not Saturday even Saturday Night Live. It was the thing on HBO. They did like a little like, but not the newer one. Like years and years ago, they did. I think like maybe the eighties. It was the eighties. Uh, there was like a Pee Wee Herman show thing, and it was uh, Phil Hartman was on it. As uh, well, I remember, as, Lawrence, but but in Lawrence Fishburne, but those the cowboy, guys. The- but I was on the TV show. On this one, it was the whole joke. like putting mirrors on their shoes to yeah, look up, miss I've whatever. Seen that. Like, I have oh, seen that. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I don't remember that at all. It was a girl. The girl was, the girl was like, humor. she wanted the cowboy, but like, you know, she would do makeup. Oh, is she pretty? She's prettier than me. Like, it was like some serious shit. 1981? Yeah. yeah. And I said it was all like, it was much more of an adult show. So it, it was like a nightclub act. That so they're like basically mocking a children's show. Right. And it be, actually became a children's show. And then he okay. was like, he's like, all right, guys, I'll do a children's show, but just so you know, I like to tug it in the movie theater every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> I publicly beat it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so if you guys are cool with that, I'll they're sign like, the contract. This, this is the 80s, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. They go, dude, everyone whacks it publicly. It's not like there's a disease that's going to make you die from fucking. Oh, man. If he could have hung in there for 15 more mind. years, he would have never had to. That don't, that's the that's a mistake that no celebrity will ever make again. Public, public jacking. Mm. Dude, I mean, jacking just took down Louie. It's taken down comics. That's not public jacking. That's private jacking in front of public people. Well, exactly. <laughs> that's a, that's a, he, he did a public-private jack. <laughs> yeah. That's extra. That yeah. costs extra. Um, before the break, we were talking it's, about- it's such a fine line between clever and stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to uh, get your opinion on this, Chris, as someone who was- uh, uh, had fi- fine, fine music out in the '90s with, along with Adam Duritz. We were talking about Adam Duritz. Yeah, um, a lot of claims saying that his dreads are fake, fake dreads. But that seems very bizarre to me. They have websites that say he 
that he said it, but what is that worth? You know, websites aren't really worth it. Yeah, we don't have an actual clip goes. of him being like, yeah, the dreads are fake. Big, he just pulls one out and eats it. He goes, they're made of licorice. Beef <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> jerky. Because this is legitimately cotton candy. Touch it. You see how it's evaporating because the oil on your hands? It's nuts. <laughs> he goes, now, if I get wet, honestly, I just completely fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, the brown one's beef. The uh, orange ones are cheese. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, they're doing a lot of cool stuff with science these days. You can eat your own hair. <laughs> Do they have a picture of him being bald at all, or is this just all hearsay? Jacob it's went to baldingout.com. Have, have any of you guys ever met him in person? No. I have uh, briefly with Jeff Ross. He's friends with Jeff Ross, okay. for sure. But in his track he, list of he, chicks is insane. Monica Potter. Potter, yeah. is that the one? Oh. She's but, I mean, there's plenty of bald dudes who, who you know... A lot of chicks. I mean, yeah, yeah like, no, I do. We think sure, it's weird that he hasn't that, uh, embraced the being bald. That he still puts fake dreads on his. That's always weird. Yeah, that's, that's a weird. Just be yourself. Yeah, exactly. Just be yourself. I mean, he could be insecure about it, but what are you saying? The fact that he's hiding it and still still getting going. Laid? No, but no, now it's, I mean, I don't now even it's care a about helmet. Laid. It's now like, it's a helmet. Now he's got to put oh. it on like Darth Vader puts on his helmet. <laughs> like it's got to be like a thing. Like it's just good. There's a mannequin head on his fucking dress. I got to say, like back in the day, back in the day, we did the Hollywood Bowl. And um, he was there, and I was standing by the monitor board, and I was pretty close to him. And I, I, it had never occurred to me that they were fake at that point in time. This yeah. is like 1994 or something. Okay. And I, I looked, you know, late 20th century. I looked over, <laughs> and I was like, what is up with those things? They definitely looked a little... Suspicious. Suspicious. Right. And, I, you know, like, Shiny. he's a lead singer, I'm a lead singer. There's some kind of fraternity thing that I'm probably, you know, screwing up by like yeah, outing him. Good. But I think you're good. I gotta the say, limitations is over. I gotta say, they, they, they. It was one of those like you look at him and you look at him again. You kind of tilt your head and you're like, is there some string in there or like, then, what is? You know, <laughs> he looks over at you and he show, he just flips up a piece and shows you a seam and goes, shh, have a good show. Yeah. Yeah. What wink. do you say? What do you say yeah. to the rumors? No one will wink. believe you. <laughs> Boink. Yeah, <laughs> all right, it's our secret now. <laughs> you go. What do you say to the rumors that John Popper was never uh, overweight and just wore three hundred fake pounds? Is that <laughs> any truth? To that? Mm, I saw him naked. <laughs> goes, no. I lived with that dude. No, he. Uh, yeah, I know such great stories. John's told me a, a, a bunch of things about that. He was like. Uh, such an amazing. He was on Z Rock also with us when we did that show. Just, a, just what a, what a great dude. You know, with the high, I got a couple of good John fun Papa loving, stories. fun loving fella. Living John living Pye. with those guys. You know, I moved into I moved to New York City with like you know hundred bucks and an acoustic guitar in nineteen eighty eight. Twenty years old. Moved in with those guys, and they were all these huge dudes. I mean, John John was the biggest of them, but they were all huge dudes, and they they would get we'd all get like super duper ridiculously high, and for amusement they would just throw me around the apartment. <laughs> like a, oh, the original dwarf tossing. Right? Yeah, they'd be like, hey, let's, uh, it's like ectomorph tossing, you know? Yeah, that's like Viking R and R. Let's throw Chris around the apartment. Oh, how much? I wonder how many, how much internal bitterness there was towards you, though, as everyone's just eating the food that everyone can afford at the time, just like wolfing burgers and stuff, and they're all looking at you like, how, where does he put it? <laughs> like, yeah. so, Popper's just gaining weight going like I don't know how he stays so thin doing all that's the word when I hung out with Dave Smith all the time with Dave Smith you know skinny yeah, as a rail yeah, yeah. we're just eating the same things I'm like why is this hurting me so much more than him <laughs> we're just always upsetting I'm like why does this happen why? we're both eating this shitty food where does it go on I you? found out what it was is that we oh, both eat the same shitty food most of our meals ended with me going like you gonna uh you, you done with that? You just gonna throw it out? <laughs> you done with I'm like, that? I'm like, you're only eating like uh, three quarters of your sandwich. You're gonna throw out half of the half. Like, all right, yeah, I'll take, I, I I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Out. I'll take it over to the car, trash can. <laughs> trash can oh, yeah. Are you biting off his bites too, or are you at least ripping it off? No, I'd bite right through Dave's bites. Come on, it's Dave. We've yeah. done grosser things than that. I'm sure to each other. <laughs> when I worked at a restaurant, I'd always eat. If I were to eat other people's food, it would be backwards towards the bite, and then not. And then I'd. Stop. I never understood that. Why don't you just steal food out of the freezer? You weren't well, brave I wasn't, enough to I'll, do that as a. Well, like free. One of my going to take a fucking Wait, ribs fuck out of freezer yeah. and hold you, frozen ribs. I worked. Wait, that wasn't a joke. Hut. That wasn't a joke. You. Yeah, you you'd backwards food. eat someone's like steak. I'd, I'd like cut like the, cut that part off and eat it. 
Yeah, I that's weird, fuck. dude. I don't give a fuck. That's real garbage picker of you right there. <laughs> so what? what a survivalist. <laughs> it's also yeah. a stranger, yeah, yeah. No, these are rich people. I don't give a fuck. They, 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 oh, yeah, rich I, people I, don't I, have I, diseases. Yeah, I, I give them the ocular pat down. <laughs> I ate a piece of the steak when Linkin Park came in one day, and See? they left the little steak medallion. Listen, and I was like, I'm, I'm a human raccoon. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking get in there with my five fingers. And I'll what is, what is, Linkin Park age? came in to, to Dos Caminos. Huh? Lincoln Park came in. Well, I mean, it's got it a choke jerk atmosphere. It wasn't a. I, yeah, it wasn't. I, obviously, his name's not Lincoln Park, but yeah. Oh, Chester Bennington in. or Mike Shinoda? Mike Shinoda. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The half Asian fella. Yeah. Cool. What did he eat? Now we all. They brought know. a bunch of stuff out, and one of the things was like the top menu item, which was like steak wrapped yeah, in bacon. Rib- yeah, the ribeye. The ribeye. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you got to take a ribeye. And they left Tears. like a ton of it, and I was like, "Wow." I know. The, I, know the, <laughs> I thought she was going to say that they they brought their own food in. He goes, "Can we just sit here? Hey, we're like in park. You mind if we eat our chipotle in here? Hey, you guys got some cool <laughs> lights in here. Wow. Oh, we brought some food from the outside. <laughs> but you're you're expanding that. You know, you don't know what age you can stop eating off of somebody or what the relationship is. You know what I mean? Yeah, like twenty seven. 27? 27. Okay, stop that's a good cutoff. So, like, if you had kids, you'd still eat off of them at, like, 27? Yeah. No, come on. Your chick, your chick's over it, and you want the rest of her shit? You want to do that? I'd eat it. What, your yeah. chick? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. Chick? I thought you meant strangers. Not, well, I mean, <laughs> strangers is one thing. Is like, strangers weird. Yeah, me and, me and Christine, like, I mean. Oh, no, if, if I know a, you. If, if our relationship, I'd say, is hanging on by a thread, that thread is the fact that I finish her food. That you vulture her? Finish her food? <laughs> that I vulture her food. <laughs> I wait and pick at their carcass. I actually, I actually like order around the fact that my wife is not going to eat half of her food. Oh, that's yeah. smart. And I know that she's gonna, she's gonna like get it to go, and then it's, she's never going to eat it. If I were your waiter, I, I would that. push you to order a full meal, knowing and banking on the fact that your wife's going to go half down, and then when she doesn't want to take it home, I'd eat that half on the way back to the kitchen. My, I'm sure you would. Human <laughs> raccoon. My, my OCD. I hate bringing home leftover food. I never believe it's going to get eaten, and. 90% of the time, it doesn't. Okay. And, yeah, it doesn't. I and 100 tell. of that 90% of the time, 100% of that, it stays in the fucking fridge for three weeks. Yep. And you got to throw out a weird box, and then it's a whole fight all over again. Guess what yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Yep. Guess what we just threw out at my house two days ago? Tony Luke's. Oh, come on, dude. How did that make it to your house? Mike brought it home late for me. Who the me fuck and brings I, Tony I Luke's anywhere? I brought it back from Philly. Yeah, to Mike for Mike Vecchione for, for them night. to watch the Eagles game. You were wrong for doing that. No, no, that was you great. don't take the Fantastic. fucking steak out of the city. No, they got to come and get it, man. <laughs> yeah, you're they gotta wrong. Come and get it. <laughs> it was the best we could do. I never understood that. I used to make cheesesteaks in uh, in the airport when I was a kid, and people used to come and order them like three, four at a time, like double wrapped out. I'm taking it to Dallas. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to fucking make it. Like you, you got to eat it. Well, for I mean, you got to be a next level jerk off to order an airport cheesesteak anyway. <laughs> quite yeah, honestly. If you think you're special in Terminal B, I thought that was where it was. It yeah. was Terminal yeah. B, yeah. fucking U.S. Air. That's the yeah. hub. That's the hub. Yeah. The Philly hub. But I get that. Yeah, like airport food traveling. But we get Wawa all the time when we're down in Philly, and then drive back with it. You know what Wawa Wawa's will do? Wawa's a little bit different. Yeah, but Wawa's not like, you know, like an appellation of, you know, it's not like a Philly Special. cheese steak. There's, uh, something about, there's something about the, like, yeah. you know, you breathe in that Philly air, you're like, No, there's somebody Philly. eating it right there. There's somebody eating a cheap Philly cheese right True. there. Wawa does that thing for us that I think, what do they call it? Fisherman style? Mm-hmm. Where, All the condiments on the they, side? Not on the side. This is even better. They put the meat on the bread, then they lay another, like, plastic piece down. And then put uh, all yeah, the, the wax con- paper, yeah, the right. wax- and then put the condiments on top of that. And then they say they do it for fishermen. And then when you get back to New York, you just flip that thing over, ah! and all the toppings yeah. are in. Wow! But that's how it used to be. Do you remember? Uh, you remember stakeout? Amazing! Like I'm back before, try it was that like next back. Time. But stakeout. This is when the steaks did, instead of them wrapping them up in a hoagie wrap, they used to be in a long styrofoam tube. Yeah, and it'd be in, you'd have you'd have to walk with like these styrofoam tubes in a long bag. Like but you were an architect, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys. But, I got all the plans right here. And it, the same thing where they put the wax paper over like the meat so that to keep your bread from getting soggy before you got home and That's shit. You know great. what I mean? And like I mean, it was a whole thing. Brilliant, it's fucking genius. I like a place that seems like they care. You know who follows me on Twitter that wigs me out? What Steakums? Mm. Steakums follows me. <laughs> the big big jokers <laughs> and insane. That Remember Steakums? Yeah, some understand. of the best microwavable sandwiches ever. That's not micro. What? Or oven? What? You have to cook it in a frying pan. You're supposed well, do you have to. to go, Chris? Dan was home by himself minutes. a lot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for, save. Thanks for the good. save, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get Dave Temple's new exactly. album. First watch. Yeah. 
He just saved my ass. Yeah, I know exactly what that was. I was a latchkey kid myself, yeah. man. I, and uh, Jay's like, no, you got to put it in a frying pan. I'm like, microwave it on a plate, then you put it in. <laughs> yeah, we talk yeah. about this a lot. I started coming home from school myself, nine years old. Wow. And started with with no, like, don't turn that stove on, like trying to make something, perhaps. <laughs> Just come home like souffle. Yeah. That's probably easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like your deep frying. You got a wonton thing going. You're like the oil's really good. It's crackling right now. And it was weird where you like your mom would like question you about your decision making at that age. I remember like only thing I knew how to make was eggs. I'm like fuck yeah, it. It was going eggs. in right. Yeah, yeah, I threw like six eggs in the pan and just went to town. She's like, "What'd you eat? Eggs? How many? Six. Do you have any idea how fucking cholesterol it is? I'm like, I'm eight. I have no idea. Eggs. You didn't know all I know how to make is fucking eggs. Like, yeah. you left me with nothing. I like her being. Con- I'm gonna burn right through this. I like her being concerned about uh, black problems when you're way too young to be concerned. You know that gets your hypertension up. I'm like, hypertension. I am eight. eight. Yeah. No. I am but legitimately I was, I was excited like for Santa. Titties and love handles, like it was. Like, yeah, I was different than the other little kids for a little while. You want to lose a foot like your papa? <laughs> <laughs> My mom wouldn't let me. I was. I only had access to the microwave. That's yeah. because I figured it out myself. Mm. I wasn't going to fuck with the stove. That would have got me in too much trouble. My, my buddy is a, his dad is a famous jazz musician, and um, his dad was like. He's you like, oh, son, you know, there's uh, there's beautiful women, and you can you can fuck them, and there's great weed, and you can smoke it, and like my friend Eric goes, but Dad, I'm nine, I I don't want to fuck women and smoke weed. Yeah. He goes, well then, this delicious candy. For you. Yeah, <laughs> well, what do you want, boy? Goes, what are you gay? I'm just bringing up the reason why you make weekends kind of a bummer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, you may not, but I do, and I can't with you around. So this was a nice way of saying, go outside. No, Barbara, I'd love you to come over, but I got a, right. how do you call it, plan changer here today. <laughs> yeah. Before, uh, before we go to our uh, our last break, let's go. Kevin in Florida is going to Wawa for the first time soon. Wants to know what he should get for breakfast and lunch. Now, I'm going to tell you right out of the gates, Kevin. I'm not even going to talk to you about breakfast. Yeah. breakfast I don't know about Wawa exist. breakfast. Get means nothing muffins. to me. Nah. What? Get the muffins. They have good donuts. Sure. Ginger ninja brought in donuts. Yeah, sure. Get some pastries or whatever. Now we're talking lunch, dinner. Yeah. Now we can go. And everyone here is, I mean, knows a Wawa. Oh, well, New Jersey. Um, I would say if I'm going sandwich, just go Italian. Classic. Yes. Great. Certainly classic. Do the white bread if you're going for the one time, yeah. Kevin. Um, are you going, uh, you got to get a walking around soft pretzel. Yeah. By Hers. the way, the weirdly enough. They leave them by the counter, man. That shit is adding pounds. They leave right them by now. the counter. But then they tell you if you want mustard, you have to go ask another adult to put it on your pretzel like they're afraid you're going to do something with the mustard. <laughs> I don't know what's happened, but maybe terrible things have happened. I know the deli by uh, my house, one of the funniest things I've ever heard uh, right down in the East Village mm-hmm. there. I was been there and a bunch of black dudes walked in behind me the other day and they have all the pictures up. Yeah. Of everyone who's like shoplifting there, and they just go, man, mad niggas steal from this place. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood the hanging somebody's picture yeah, up. Like, like, that's. They, they don't got care. the goods. Yeah, yeah, they, they already got away. Back. Oh, shit. Got... All right, well, you go in there and get yeah. in there. Oh, you, know? you guys want to see some of my hits? Right. Uh, that was when I got an Arizona green tea. That yeah. was. I say if you go to Wawa and you don't feel like a classic Italian, go a nice uh, honey roasted turkey. Yeah, yeah. That's 10 inch. Call. Uh, and then, you know, pick your... I Go fisherman style, though, with this condiments. Oh, yeah. Because now you guys are blowing my mind. Yeah, the fisherman style. I just, I, I just I didn't wear know about it. that. I'm half Irish, so I just Hers, wear it. I'm like, it's wet, because it's my fault. Hers, cheddar, and horseradish chips. You're yeah, goddamn right. Yeah. Jay put me onto those, finally, our last trip. And a fucking peach iced tea. And if you're feeling... If you've got a little driving to do, what I like to do is get one of their super sweet ice coffees, because it's like fucking... Yeah, I'm out of the world with coffee. I don't <laughs> yeah. know that. But I'll now, tell you this also. You know and then up? And then butterscotch crimpets... Oh, you're tasty going cake. all the way in, yeah. I'm taking them right through the meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole... Treating the guy like and, a goddamn adult. And as a, result, <laughs> as a result of that, you have no idea how much hoagies cost at Wawa, do you? No idea. Yeah, right. We just just, just ring but, it up. Whatever number yeah. you tell me, I'm going to pay it. Like, I'm I, more n- cons- I have no idea. Never I'm more consumed with the pickup than the payment. I don't want to fuck up the pickup. So I want to get the payment done in time so I can pick the sandwich up right when it's dropped. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want it rolling around bumping into other people's sandwiches on that pickup desk. Okay. Where you got to put your ticket in the basket. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I don't know how much they Which cost. Which now, I'm starting to do that more now because I'm an adult. You know, but it was, I was always, wow, I was just a feeding frenzy. You just wait until it's crowded. By the just, way, you know. by the way, the machine, <laughs> the machine you get to order your sandwich on, I mean, really makes you feel good about yourself 
whether you're fat or not because they ask all the questions that you would have to. You don't have to go to somebody and be like, "Can you do a? Can you do a little double meat?" A double meat? <laughs> it says it, as soon as you're done picking your sandwich, it says, "Just do you want double meat for like three more dollars?" By the way, you're like, "Yes," yeah. and it's just between you and the guy that made the sandwich. It's real side mouth talk. Right. They go, "Hey, uh, hey, I also, think do you want to?" Know. When that when they drop that sandwich and there's a. <laughs> oh yeah, to it. Thud. <laughs> but that is that oh, is you're a like you're dropping a dura flame <laughs> on a the fucking person who makes the sandwich knows. Yeah, this, oh yeah, the sandwich you person will probably. Them. You don't but they they already face think that they they fucking hate everybody that comes in. Right, the fact that the sandwich is just never stopped. Dude, that's why it's I've so good. I've never been like I've never seen anyone last at a Wawa more than a year. And if they do, they're, oh, call, they're a please call full eight, special needs. Please call eight four four comedy nine if you've done more than twelve months at a Wawa because we want to know if. <laughs> yeah, you, it's funny if you if you could just hang in there for two years. I think you become like general manager of a district. Yes. I think they make you. Yes. I think they make you <laughs> legally change Jay. your last name to Wawa. <laughs> like, Philip K. Wawa. You yeah. aren't, but you aren't wrong. Look at some of the pictures on the walls of the managers. These kids are like 19, 20 years oh, old. Oh, I'll tell you, you know when I mean? someone works there late, the children soldiers of the sandwich game. <laughs> <laughs> I was recruited in a village. <laughs> What's that called? The movie? Yeah. Beautiful beast, yeah. Uh, beast of no nation. Just get beast of no nation. Yeah. And people just get frustrated at least. Yeah. Especially in Philly, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the fact that it's like, what? I got to trim my beard or wear this fucking hair net? Oh, man, man, fuck this job. Say, what, trimming, you're trimming right. a Philly beard. Yeah, they don't want yeah. to. I've said the words to somebody as to me and Dave Smith actually again were at a Wawa and I was asking for everything on the side before I knew about fisherman style. Mm-hmm. I was asking everything on the side because I'm traveling back to New York with it from South Jersey. And it was like a 40 something year old guy working behind the uh, counter. And I go, Yeah, can I get this stuff on the side? And some of this on the side. I go, I go, Sorry if that's a pain in the ass at all. And he goes, Well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, That was, uh, I was just being nice, dude. And he goes, he goes, Well, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. I go, I'm not going to take my life advice from a 40 year old working at Wawa. And then I went outside and smoked a cigarette and realized he goes, I put a lot in this guy's hands, though. <laughs> I go, we should probably go back in there, because I'll tell you what, more than I want to be right with this piece of shit, you got a I want more Wawa. Yeah, yeah. You also don't want to get sick from that Wawa. Yeah. But I do like that he's giving you the jewels from Pulp Fiction in the diner speech, <laughs> where he's like, if my answer is, you cease from asking scary questions. <laughs> and what? the fact that they pulled off successfully selling sandwiches and gasoline. Yeah. Ten feet away from each other. God bless him. By oh, the way, let's take the song of the break. What's, do we have the song? What's the <laughs> we eating Wawa hoagies? <laughs> <laughs> Not a, it's something about it. I think it's in the same gene class where if you like gas station sandwiches, you like the smell of gas. So it's an experience. Oh yeah. Hey, you guys want to go huff and get some hoagies? <laughs> oh, half and hey. hey, y'all want to do a huff and hoagie? Now you're talking. Huff and hoagie. Hey, you guys want to go do a huff and hoagie? <laughs> oh hell yeah! I'm from I've never, I did you ever huff? You saying you've done, you've done huffing? And you, you're from I've Denver. Done, you yeah. huffed something? Of course. I'm from, I have to whip it. <laughs> Is that huffing though? Really? Pretty much. Sort pretty of. Much. I've never like done just like. So I've been like turkey. Paint. I've roasted turkey. Turkey's good too. God, watching him make this sandwich makes me. What is it. this? Is this someone's music video? Yeah. Yeah. Put the credits up for a second, Christine. Chris Barron's new album, Angels and the One Arm Jugglers, is available pre order now at the chrisbarron.com. Go order it and then go get Dave Temple's. Uh, debut album yeah the first one available now on iTunes and of course our live show is going to be uh, Monday December 11th at 8pm at the Village Underground so go get tickets at ComedyCellar.com for a reservation for our live episode of the Bonfire Jay's going to be in Indy at Morty's Comedy Joint this Thursday through Saturday at BigJComedy.com I'll be in Austin at Cap City DanSoder.com and we'll be right back with the Bonfire we the wild wild hoagies And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I know it's only in my head. Bonfire. The wig. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder hanging out with Dave Temple. Yeah. His new album. Which is not on the screen, Christine. The first the one. The first one is available right now on iTunes. You self produced it? Self produced it, man. Did everything on, on my own. Where is it recorded at? Uh, at the Comedy Works in Bristol, PA. 
Oh, very cool. Yeah, so it's like a good amount of people where I could do some edgy material and they're they're gonna laugh at it as opposed to going, Oh you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was, it was good, good, good shit. Go get his yeah, debut album came out today, so go download it right now. Um, before we move on to this uh, this video I want to show you guys, should we talk to Joe from Philly who's worked at Walmart for 15 years? I mean, so- and his name is Joe. Let me guess. South Philly, huh? 15-year <laughs> bitch. Joey! Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> That's great. 15 years at Wawa? Yeah, 15 years, like right out of high school through uh, like up until like last year. What's your position? Oh, I started... Um, Started at the bottom, and you know, as a store manager, by the end. Oh store no, man- you were still at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> is store ma- is store manager like a good paying position? Uh, for the most part, I mean, like the money was good, but like the work was insane, absolutely insane. Oh, well, like the people, like the crazy shit that you saw. Oh, absolutely! You know, it's like like you know, not only the people that like shop there, but the people that work there too, man. Everyone oh yeah, there. you got a rotating cast of just nutsos. What's yeah. it in fifteen yeah, years, Joe? What is like the craziest, the wildest, the most insane? Like three things that have happened there. Oh, uh, probably finding finding like a huge sack of heroin under a car one night. Yeah, bonus big, uh-huh. big bag of China White. Yeah. Ooh! Wow! 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 Yeah, the other two are just like wow. people fucking in the bathrooms. People fucking in the yeah, bathrooms. Yeah, they do have the bathroom yeah. is surprisingly just open you for know anybody what? to go into. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you this: if I'm on the road and I have to piss and I'm driving, a Wawa bathroom's great. Yeah, but it's also great to go in the bathroom and down the leg. Right? <laughs> just yeah. any kind of product. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just oh, right stealing from Wawa? Yeah. I've never. I wouldn't. Geographically, I what part of the city was your Wawa in, Joe? I wasn't in the city. Like, I was in Delco, like, right outside the city. Oh, okay. And did you ever go out to the Wawa Farms? Yeah. Yeah, I I always heard that. Is that true that they used to send you guys to, like, a Wawa college? Like, you had to learn how to make the sandwiches in the proper order? Like, way back in the day. Oh, that that that. Yeah, I I, I, I look at the people working at Wawa now. I don't think they went to some kind of, like, (laughs) rural... Agricultural I, college. To go I've had enough sandwiches made by people that work there to know that there is no fucking company retreat. Oh, There's yeah. no trust falls where they're like, we're just going to do some team building exercises for this Wawa. Group. Oh, you're lucky if these fat unibrow bitches don't lick their fingers while they're making your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> unibrow bitches. That's a just shutting the, shutting the sandwiches with their sweaty hands. Oh, there Jesus. Is. They all look like fucking Chris Farley when he played the lunch lady in the lunch lady song. Yeah, the down you lunch know, lady. Lady? I always felt bad for for a while, while the teenage girl on the register who do, knows nothing about cigarettes oh, and yeah. like everyone's just no not that would get me to, that, that. Moss, green this fucking poor She's girl like, by She's, the way that girl you're talking about is always wearing weirdly loose fitting tight what black pants <laughs> yes. yeah yeah like they're yes. always baggy in her sad white trash ass yeah, yeah. Her real dumpy a <laughs> real dumpy single wide butt it's like aren't you 14 she goes yeah but i got the ass of a 62 year old <laughs> i got an ass of a lady who's got a kid in college and what, what, you, you ever see like the print of lace underwear through those it's like why are you wearing sexy underwear to work because right maybe there's a the sandwich know. Maybe, never know yeah the sandwich guy's gonna get it <laughs> <laughs> uh wow 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 she goes oh maybe get a bag of hers going <laughs> if I could get a bag of heroin from the parking lot. Yeah. Joe, did you ever pull puss? I mean, maybe even heroin night that was probably going to try to get somebody. Yeah, someone had to have been half nod and you <laughs> swoop in. Nah, man. Nah, like, not like at work, but like, you know, like, at, like after work with customers. Yeah, of course. Really? Customers? Really? So you game girls yeah. while you were at working at, at Wawa? Dude, that was like half the fun of it. Yeah. I believe that. I, believe I, have. I, I, I tell you, I fucked a... Uh, a Wawa uh, oh, yeah, cashier yeah. once. Yeah. Went back with her that night. You were, hey. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about like, the quesadilla. Like, <laughs> like what I, the, the clothes that were, the, the clothes she took off to fuck were Wawa a, a white, well, no, it was a white button down shirt and black jeans. That's what they have to basically like, wear. No, no, no. Leave it on. No, I want to see it. I want you to keep no. your tag on. He goes, I'm going to look at the goose the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I come, I want to release it like a goose. <laughs> oh, I want to look at the goose. Oh, wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. wah. You, you're my goose. <laughs> you're my wah, wah, goose. Oh, try, you goose. actually try to make a goose out of cum on her stomach? <laughs> yeah. you, you go, don't look move. At that. Don't move. Oh, the design is nice. <laughs> I'll add. I'll, I'll double up, actually. I'll say if uh, I'll do a combination somehow. I said if the Eagles win the Super Bowl, I'm getting an Eagles tattoo. Oh. And I'll get a Wawa tattoo also. Will you, can you do 
the, the Wawa fly. tattoo's not really a bad idea, though. You know what I mean? It's like, not. just the bird. It's great. It's just oh, just the, the goose, yeah. Yeah, or what were you thinking? The actual uh, Wawa? With the trademark. Maybe the smir- Maybe the circle <sighs> with the horizon there. You know, the goose going across the horizon. The old Wawa symbol. Now it really is just the goose and the word Wawa. Yeah. You know what? Wawa has had three faceovers in my lifetime. Have they? Yeah. Like, I've seen three completely different Wawa. Like, now it's funny when you go in neighborhoods where there used to be a Wawa, and it's like, you know that shape yeah, with the yeah, brown yeah. roof, but it's just like some weird Arabian yeah, McDonald's, cookie mart or McDonald's some shit. and Pizza Hut used yeah. to do that same thing. Yeah. Where, Pizza you know, Hut's got that a lot. In old, you can tell places in old Pizza <laughs> Hut. Holy shit. Dude, my daughter just had Book It. We wanted to take her to get a pizza. We couldn't find a Pizza Hut that you could sit in and eat pizza. Really? Like we I used to li- love the lunch buffet. We drove around for at least fucking. That's crazy. That's the only way Pizza Hut's good. Is that when you have it right there? Everything they, they is just it, now. They bring it out with the spatula. Yeah. They put one on your plate. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but everything now is just wings to go. Like, you know, just quick, easy yeah, takeout. Science meat in the yeah. fucking thing. It's not even good wings. You just bite into it and you're like, why is this fucking taste? Yeah, like? last time that we really went in and went to the wings, that was like one of our early dates, and I got bad fucking like shits, like bubble guts. Like, oh. we barely made it home, and it was just like, oh, fuck. And yeah. I, was, I was off of it for a while. Christine, just if you, anyone here thought she was high class, uh, favorite thing is the. Lunch buffet at Pizza Hut. I get it. I just said the lunch buffet at Pizza Hut. I just said that. Didn't you say you like that? With the pizzas like in there, like the, the, the buffet thing? No, no, I said, I'll say the lunch buffet all day. I thought you liked that, no? Sh- try to shame well, me. What do you mean? Like, just I'll like, walk right through I'll shame you all day. That's garbage. Go fuck yourself. They give I'll you walk old right pizzas. The you kind that just sits under the lamps and you just kind yeah. of take a piece yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, only a real <laughs> asshole eats one that's been sitting there. And you're talking, about the, human, you. you're talking about the human raccoon. I wait till there's a fresh one. <laughs> then I get in there I just with my five fingers I just grab it as soon oh, as they pull some out you just see you tying a black bandana yeah, around your I, eyes I, and shit I'm, I'm on a God. date she goes Dan what are you doing I go there's a big raccoon noises at her <laughs> running with your back all arched up <laughs> your eyes start glowing red <laughs> What's happening to you? <laughs> oh no, he's going full raccoon. <laughs> Over pizza too. He starts slapping you out with a broom. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> that pizza buffet, the lunch, the lunch buffet was hilariously uh, half of a salad bar. Salad bar's rocking at the pizza. <laughs> Come on, you don't mean that, dude. I mean, I'm untouched. going back to the nineties. I mean, they almost. I mean, they almost put. I'm going back I to feel the like 90s. somebody would go out there, yeah, even in the nineties. I feel up. like somebody would go out there with like a head of iceberg lettuce and just like hand rip it in half and just drop it in the bowl. Now I used to work at I used to work at Pizza Hut as a teenager. I delivered pizzas. And uh I just remember the waitresses, like they everyone smoked non stop. It was fucking disgusting. You Cigarettes know what I mean? or weed? Cigarettes. Because I I delivered pizza for Pudge Brothers and we used to smoke weed all the time. Well, you're, but you're the delivery boy. I and mean, we're talking yeah. about this is like a sit down restaurant. Oh, yeah. And these girls were constantly out back by the dumpster because they can't be out front where the sure. customer. So they go in the greasy fucking dumpster where there's flies and all <laughs> this know, garbage I used to love smell. That. When I was a busboy at Red Robin, that's where we'd smoke cigarettes by yeah. the trash compactor. <laughs> and he's like, Now, did your. <laughs> Up. Did your pizza shop have a, like a retarded dishwasher? Um, no, not at the pizza. I've worked at places with that. Every but. place I've ever worked at, it was a retarded guy in the kitchen cleaning up, and he has been there for years. No, ours was year. like ours was like <laughs> fucking kind of. Uh, it was like a bunch of high school kids and like loser stoners. It was like a fun pizza place to work for. Yeah, yeah, it's just a tough neighborhood to deliver pe- deliver pizzas in. Why? Because that was a pay. Uh, there was Just a couple punch times. Punch in the face and send you on your way. My buddy, who's a coach for the 49ers, uh, out of, in an apartment complex from the fifth level, someone fucking filled up a two liter full of water and fucking pegged it at him. Well, if he was a real good offensive coordinator, he would have caught it. He did. And then he returned it. <laughs> he returned all the way back up the he steps. Goes, he came up all the stairs. He goes, and I think you bed. dropped your two liter. And he spiked it on their bed. And he went, <laughs> pick six. Pick six. <laughs> yeah, but I remember that. And then my buddy got robbed. Uh, like, my other best friend got robbed. Fujak got robbed at a uh, knife. Like, by, with a knife, they took all his money off him, so we had to stop delivering to that apartment complex. 
That was that particular complex. Yeah. Just full of people who will rob complex. you. I like, by the way, they rob you at their front door. Yeah. No, they so would, that's not their front door. That's where they get, that's where but, they get the shit delivered to. Yeah, they would wait. They just they, they rent it. It's yeah. like the White House for the Dallas Cowboys. Like, <laughs> we just have an undisclosed location where we order pizzas and rob people. Too. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was a big scam, though. When we were coming up in kids, like if you got stolen credit cards, or anything like that, you order shit on eBay and get it delivered to like an abandoned house, and you just sit that's on the steps goes, all day. And okay, just so I have. Uh, the Milford Apartments right there, over there on uh, Crescent. Okay, cool. He goes, uh, what apartment unit? You go, um, 111? Yeah. <laughs> no, just hit the, just uh, make sure you hit the buzzer and wait for the uh, for the door to be open. <laughs> he goes, oh, who'll be in there? He goes, don't worry, it's just a couple of uh, cute chicks. Yeah. Oh, hot babes with drugs. Yeah, now bring all six pizzas and uh, don't forget that two liter, Mr. Pat. <laughs> you show you what Mr. Pib? No one drink Mr. Pib. He goes, yes. no, don't worry, we'll drink it. We're probably, we're definitely not gonna throw it at him. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't whip an orange crush at a kid. <laughs> um, do we want to get to this last thing? <sighs> we could we could preview it, buddy. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be. We only have like ten minutes. Oh left. shit, we only have ten minutes left. It really crept oh. up. But you I want to do the last I'll name. Give, I'll give a yeah, preview. A you want to do the last wow. name thing? Sure. And we'll do the other thing tomorrow. Okay. You're going to love it. Okay. The last, do you want to bring up the last name article, that the study that says, uh, I always read it wrong because I'm dumb. You use, you, use, you use quadruple negatives. Yeah. If you don't take your husband's yeah. not name, 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 he's no. not not a man. I'm, learning, <laughs> I'm really am learning in my 30s like how dumb I am, just in general. I'm just a mean? fucking dumb person. I just I don't know how to read. See this right Watch here. Watch documentaries, bro. Dig in the documentaries. Men viewed as more feminine, lacking pants. If why? Who wrote this? I found this on a fucking news website. Daniel Steingold. Oh, Steingold. Actually, I tell you this. A bitch better take my name. No bitch with me. <laughs> what website's this from, Christine? This is from studyfinds.org. Studyfinds.org, which uh, men viewed as more feminine, lacking pants. If wives keep last names, study finds. Not in the black community. If a girl's going to take your last name? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Carla, when me and Carla got married, she did take my last name. I wouldn't have, like, made a stink about it. In fact, I think professionally she's still not. Like, I don't think I would care. I don't give a shit. What is weird is I know a couple who, uh, the girl used to work at the comic strip, and then she got, her boyfriend got a job there, too, and they got married. And because she, it's all girls in her family, there's no one keeping, like, her family's name in life. She convinced the dude to take her last name. That's weird. And the kid and their kid is like her last name. The whole family went with her last name. That's fucking weird. That's, Unless your yeah, dad used to you fucking gotta... boo you in a bathroom or something. Mm -hmm. Changing your name to a girl's name is very, very weird. That, really that's... disrespectful. Yeah, and it's like it's just what, odd what does your shit. family even have to say about it? That? That's you know the one I mean? thing is you gotta get the rest of the family on board. You're like, now, guys, I love Jessica. How much? I'm going to take her name. <laughs> yeah. Son, if you ever did that, I'd want you out of this family. Hey, Dad, great news. I'm, I'm out, out of the family. family. I'm out of the family. Yeah, because that's... You can write me out of the will. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, that's a real tough conversation to have where she's like... She just comes in and she's like, I want you to take my name. Mm -hmm. you just be like... Although I like and Jay Evans. And what is Evans. that based off of? I like, like Jay Evans more than Jay Okerson. For Jay sure. Evans is cool. Jay Evans is like a guy where, you know... Well, that's J.J. Evans, Jay Evans right? is dashing. 13, <laughs> 13 Reasons Men Decide to Take Their Wives' Last Name oh, is on HuffPo. I got to hear that. Well, what's reason number one? Yeah, what's reason number one? Let's go through these reasons. We got 10 minutes. Uh, what's the first one? I took my wife's no, name go because... Up, Christine. It, this is number one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's number one. I took my, names. I took my wife's name because she has kids, and it was easier to change my name than to give the other three kids... But you don't have to give the other three kids a new name. Yeah. yeah. The other kids keep the other names still. what the yeah. fuck? Unless the father's dead, why the fuck would you change the kid's name? Who's going to allow... Like that was a, that was what I was thinking is the next thing. Like if you separate from a chick and then she changes your kid's last name that's, to her new guy's last name, that's fucking that's insane. fucking weird. I remember my friend who did that. I, and I had a buddy Chris when I was a little kid, and his parents, his mom married a new guy, and he took the new guy's last name. And I remember going home being like, Trish, I ain't ever doing that. I'm keeping soda. I'm keeping soda to the very end. Oh my God. I know Gary's a real hunk of garbage, but I'm gonna take this fucking. Did your mom ever I, Trish soda? Uh, up until 1988. 
Okay. And then my she mom was kept my Trish mom kept Potts. and then she went back to her my mom there. kept Okerson well past my dad and her being. T- my mom was Okerson until she married my stepmom. Yeah, I think if you had you know a kid, you'd like keep that? your name until unless you remarried. She, my mom remarried. That's yeah. what she, she changed. And then after she got divorced from my stepdad, she switched it back to the maiden name. She What's didn't go back. Carla's to mom is all out of whack. Carla's mom. That, that's Hispanic shit right there. Carla's last name is, uh, you know, she has her last name. It's her father's last name. Mm-hmm. The mother's last name went back to her maiden name. Carla's sister is her father's name, a different father, her father's name. It's crazy it's all over the place. I think it'd be funny, though, every time Carla just dated another guy, that Isabella just takes on his last name. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like, this is my daughter, Isabella. He goes, Isabella Okerson. He goes, no, it's Isabella. Is it, is it Schiff? Yeah. Is it, am I reading that right? Schiff? Schiff? Show. S-C-H-I-F-F? This Schiff? Is, and then I next year I go, yeah. Isabella O'Brien this week. <laughs> yeah. It's Isabella. Oh, hula honey. Oh, it's Isabella O'Brien. What's, what's, what's the next list? What's the, ne- what's the next, number two? Oh, hang on. Just so you know, we have a phone call here that will take in one second here, but it's Chris who says his girl wants him to take her last name, and she has a good reason. He needs advice from us. Oh, well, let's read this huh? next reason to see if it might be this. I took my wife's name because I didn't want any connection to my dad anymore, Boofoo in the bathroom. Yeah. It actually felt really freeing to take her. Well, we Jay, called it. You called it. I Jay said called it. it. Already number two is your dad boofed you in a bathroom. <laughs> I mean, I know they can't put that on a yeah. meme. Well, they could if they had balls, but they won't. They could put it on a really funny gif. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a gif <laughs> of a... A gif? Is that what it is? God! I, I've, heard, I've heard both. I've heard both. I am I, I always, dumb. I, I said, no. Dude, I said gift my forever. Mimi the only time it's come around uh, to me is more recently where I've heard people say gif that said it with such confidence. Yeah. I was like, maybe they're right. Mm. Maybe we'll they're have to right. Out. Let's That's, take this. What's, what's, the, what's the reason your girl wants to take your name? Chris in California, you're on the bonfire hanging out. Big J, Dan Stodor, Dave Temple. What's up, buddy? What's going buddy? on, guys? What's up, dude? I'm much. So, um, yeah, I know you guys are short on time, but yeah, so I got me and my one brother, right? And we're like the last people carrying on my dad's name. So I think it's important, Yeah. but she's got, she's got one brother, a sister and that's it. Right. But her brother got shot a couple years ago and he's not around anymore. Okay. I thought you were going to say like, his dick. But yeah. That's way sadder. I, I was because he didn't leave with him being dead. I was like, oh, does his dick get blown yeah, off? She has a brother and she dick. has a sister. The brother got shot in his dick. So he can't And the carry bullet went anymore. right through yeah, The bullet <laughs> went right through his baby maker. Me and Mark have a question to ask. He just unbuckles his pants and pulls it off. He's like, oh, come on. And he goes, look at the catheter bag. So he got shot. That's a terrible way to go. Same situation. Yeah, yeah, so same situation though. No dick, no life. Either way, yeah, you're not having true. kids, right? Right, right. Yeah. I mean, if so I didn't have a dick, I'd rather look. be dead. That's not true. Is your is your yeah. brother married? No, but he has a girl longer than I have. I mean, there's a good chance there that they're going to have kids. Okay, you know. And so you wait. So basically, you're saying because her brother's dead, she wants you to take the last name. If not, the name dies. Yeah, they're saying the name dies because it's just her. That's the same thing the story I was saying. Right. It's when it's just girls. Like, technically, in my bloodline, like me moving forward, like my branch of the tree, uh, Isabella is my only daughter. So that's it. Mm. But my dad has your Jay's with sons. Yeah. yeah, he has. He has. Uh, my dad has two more sons, I'm and my last... mom has. Uh, but, but my the only kid now. Is, but the, the, uh, my point is, there's a lot more chance for that to. Right. I'm right. the last. Probably I'm well, kids. Yeah, I'm the, kids. I'm the very last. I could never take my wife. I'm the be. last on both sides. Me I'm too. an only grandchild, both sides. Oh, so really? Varda Bedian and Evans are dying with me. Yeah, I uh, my mom's side's good. Um, I am the last soder. I'm the oh, last man. soder to. But to be honest oh, with dude, you, you better blast girl, out a boy. At some your point. girl, she sounds like she's on some real Game of Thrones type shit. You know what I mean? Some mother of dragons. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> that's must, my I name. Say, you must take my name. Are you thinking about doing it? I mean, low key, I might be a little old school, but I feel like. You know, kind of makes the guy look like a bitch if he takes the girl's ass. Well, that's, that's why we were just reading that. Yeah. that does she have a good name? Oh, yeah. Does she, and like, Kate, unless she has a great list, her name, like Powers or something. You oh, can Chris st- Powers. Or, st- right, right, right. or Stone. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm not a big fan of my last name. You know what I mean? Sure. But her last name's like real Mexican. It's like Preciado. Oh, oh but that's jeez. Oh, dude. dude, I don't know, man. That's a pretty. That's that's got some flair to her yeah, name. Yeah, she, she's Mexican, dude. You, they're going to be giggling at you at the fucking wedding, like all of her cousins. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, who hey, mira, 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 look, it's her oh, new wife. Mira, look, the wife is here. That's pussy boy. Hey, hey. hey maricon, maricon, hey. you want to come over here? 
Hey, Mariposa, you want to fly away? <laughs> he visited my new daughter-in-law. <laughs> eh? Get hey, over I, here. I, yeah. I, yeah. He man, out, he's, marrying body, my, he's marrying my son daughter. <laughs> We're going to have grand Hey, this yeah. is the guy who gave my daughter his enchilada to put in her purse. <laughs> eh? You know what I mean? Yeah, what time hey. is your quinceanera? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All my pocket. Mira, hold my pocket. <laughs> ah, he, he, he a bitch. He a bitch. Uh, he good. Hey, uh, he. Chris, I don't know. I'd yeah. say don't do it. Um, yeah, I don't if her that. family, first of all, now that we found out her brother got a Mexican who got shot, now it is, it, it's all coming together more. Yeah. But I promise you, there's other brothers in that family. Just no one knows about it. That bloodline will live on, dude. You could do this. You could do whatever you want. Keep your regular name. Oh, man, I don't know. What about just like keeping it as a... For me, I always thought if I got married, I would just put my last name as my middle name. Yeah, what about that? Like, what about just keeping it as a middle name? What, hers? I mean, yeah. They're Mexican. They do a lot of hyphens and like five name, long names, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, accent can, marks yeah, and yeah. sombreros. You, you can, yeah, you can get that in. They throw a couple minus signs in, a plus sign, a division <laughs> sign. You'll be fine. <laughs> Algebra that problem, boy. Just fucking shoot two pistolas in the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's a it's a tough one, but Chris, good luck with it. Yeah. Keep us updated, dude. Let us know what you do. Yeah, please call in and let if, us if know. I end up, oh, no. If I end up walking down the aisle holding like my dad's pocket or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm sure your dad'll be all misty eyed giving away his daughter yeah. like that. <laughs> well, he was all worthy for the fiesta. Uh, yeah. Um Make sure you go download Dave Temple's album out today yeah. on iTunes. Self-produced the first one. So go pick it up right now on Dave's iTunes. Hilarious. And then our good friend Michelle Wolf has her HBO special coming out this Saturday uh, on 9 p.m. on HBO. It's called Nice Lady. So make sure you go check it out. And Big J will be in Indianapolis at Morty's Comedy Joint. Thursday, this Thursday through Saturday. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. And while I'm there, Danny Soto is going to be at Cap City in Austin, Texas. This Thursday through Saturday. Get your tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. And make sure you check out our live taping of the bonfire for our holiday show. That's Monday, December 11th, two Mondays from now at 8 p.m. at the Village Underground in NYC. Go to comedycellar.com to make a reservation. It's totally free. It'll be absolutely great. A lot of fun. We want to see you guys all there. Dave, thanks so much for hanging out with us, buddy. Thanks Come for back having again me, sometime. And uh, Chris Barron also. Let's not forget Chris Barron's new album, Angels and One Arm Jugglers, available for pre order right now at thechrisbarron.com. On behalf of the whole crew, we'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye.